Tonight, a group of women making it their mission to sing to ailing patients. Our 10 News reporter Anthony Pura and our photojournalist Tim Hahn show us how a different type of acapella group is touching lives with songs from the heart. I'm going home. On any given day, these women are ready to sing a song. We got a million of them. <laughs> And Nadine Burrington would love to sing them all. That's why she started this choir to sing to others for free. We see it as a gift. Music is a gift Nadine always wanted to share, even from a young age. So this is when I was performing as a dancer. Life. In my teen years. Is her stage. I just knew when I was very young that I loved singing and dancing. And that love of music is still very much alive. This is our way of sharing with people who need something as important as comfort and peace at the end of their lives. A sort of last act of kindness to anyone in need. I thought he was unresponsive and in bed, and he's sitting up in a chair. William Squire, at 93, is in hospice care. His wife, Jan, has requested a tune today. I think any time you have someone singing to you, it's a soothing feeling. I think. And breathe with the breath William of has the good earth. days and bad. This is one of his wash. better days. Be Nadine started this choir in 2011. Since then, they've sang in nursing homes, hospitals, even people's houses, anyone that calls for them. In many cases, they've sang to someone at death's door. We get many requests from People would just say, I love music and I'd like to have music around me when I'm passing, when I'm crossing over the threshold. That's how the name was started too. But the Threshold Choir recently received a request no member was ready to get, but couldn't refuse. Um, I requested them to come and sing for me. Nadine recently found out she has stage four cancer. So I am actually diagnosed terminal. And the choir that Nadine started to comfort others will be here to comfort her. It's wonderful. It's a gift back to me now for, for what I've given to start it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel well at this point, but I feel like um, I want the music to continue for as long as possible. And the choir promises Nadine it will. Not even death can silence the music she spent her life sharing. Anthony Pura, 10 News. I think we're done. My gosh. Wow, that's... What a powerful group. Ooh, yeah, amazing work that they do. And then, wow, now that she's sick, they're going to sing to her. Mm, and the couple holding hands. What a moving, mm. moving moment. Nadine says she is feeling well so far, and it's still looking for new members for her choir. We'll have information on how you can join online as well.